Hi guys, how you all doing? And welcome back to Ask the Pro. My name is Derek Asamoa, AKA the Tottenham Pele. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about why you should not be trying to play like Messi, Ronaldo, or even Neymar. The reason why I'm saying not to play like these guys, Messi, Ronaldo or even Neymar, you have your own style of play. Work on what you're good at, stick to what you're good at, try to improve what you're good at. You do not know who you're going to be. I'm sure when Messi was up and coming, he wasn't looking at um, Ronaldinho and saying, I want to play exactly like Ronaldinho because Ronaldinho is very successful. No, he had believed in himself, he had believed in his own talent, his own style, and he worked on what he was good at, okay, and he improved it. You're not going to get success by just straight away copying like the superstars like Neymar, Cristiano Ronaldo and, and Messi. Yes, strive to be as great as they are, strive to achieve as much as they are, but that should be the bottom line. Do not try to play their style of play. I had the pleasure of playing against Cristiano Ronaldo um, for 90 minutes and I had the pleasure of also watching live um, at Wembley um, Messi and Neymar. I want to talk about Messi's performance first. This is why I'm telling you guys it's so important to go out onto the stadium to go out to watch games, okay? It's very important for your development. When I went to watch Messi play, Messi was absolutely unbelievable, okay? He done things on the ball that I was like, wow, that is impressive. But at the same time, I thought that he was very lazy. And I'm, it's not a dig at him and it's not um, saying he's a bad player, I'm just trying to say to you from my, from watching him live that he was a very lazy player. He was very, very effective in the game and he practically um, won the game for um, Barcelona. Like from a youngster, I want to be a professional footballer and I went to watch Messi play. I will not be saying to myself, I want to play just, I want to play just the same way as Messi played because no, that will not happen. You will not get into any team playing the way Messi played. 80% of the time, Messi was walking around um, on the pitch. 80% of the time, Messi wasn't moving. I did not see Messi break sweat, to be honest. Messi was walk doing more walking than running. I didn't see him track back, I hardly saw him tackle. I didn't see him chase any, any, any football, but that's not to say he's not a great player. The best thing about Messi is when he was on the ball, the things he'd done was unbelievable. I was left amazed, totally amazed. But just like I'm saying to you, he has earned the right to play the way he played. He has put in the work, okay? He didn't start off playing the way he played. When he started off um, playing football, I'm sure he could not afford to walk around like that. He had to put in the work. He had to earn the respect from his players, from his teammates. He had to earn the respect from his manager. He had to earn the respect from the fans to be able to do what he's doing now. He's earned that right to do that because the coach knows that Messi needs to save his energy. We need Messi firing at 100% every time he gets the ball so they can afford to let him walk around save up his energy for that explosiveness okay as a player i cannot afford to play like messi my team needs me i cannot afford to be walking around the pitch for um eight percent of the game and be working for 20 minutes i cannot afford to um to do that because my team needs me but messi's got such a great players around him whether it's attacking midfielders whether it's defensive midfielder defenders everyone's just i don't know it just it, it just felt like the whole team was geared to um, to work for Messi, to get Messi those opportunities to be able to use his magic and, and score. But as a young player, you should not be looking at Messi and saying that, or saying that I want to play exactly like Messi, okay? Because when you go out on a Saturday or when you go out to play your game and you're walking around and your coach will not be impressed or any scouts will not be impressed and you can't turn around and say to them, well, the best player in the world plays like that. So why can't I play like that? It's not going to work. You need to earn the right. You need to do the groundwork. Okay, you need to lay the foundation for you to have that much trust for the coach, to have that much trust and believe in you that, yes, we can afford to let so-and-so play this style um, because when he does get the ball, we know that he can create magic for us. So it's very, very, very important to keep working hard. Do not look at these superstars and say they're not working hard. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna work hard because it's not gonna work. Right, I wanna talk about Cristiano Ronaldo now. I had the pleasure of playing against Cristiano Ronaldo when he played at Man United. The work rate Cristiano Ronaldo put in 
okay, was unbelievable. This guy was up and down the pitch. He was doing all sorts. He was working so hard, okay. Now you look at um, Cristiano Ronaldo or even when he went to Real Madrid, he was not working as hard as he did for my night because at the end of the day, when he was at Manchester United, he has something to prove to the world. He had to prove to the manager that he's he's going to be a great player to prove to the world that he is a talent. So he has to work hard to earn all our respect, okay, before he can do what he's doing now. Now he can take a foot off, he can take his foot off a bit and save his energy for when he does have the, um, have the ball to be able to do the things that he does. At Manchester United, he's earned the right. He worked so hard. I've never seen a player work so hard on the pitch. The game he played in, he didn't really like he done really really well he played an, an amazing game he wasn't able to score because he was putting in so much hard work he was trying to impress the coach he was trying to impress the fans he was trying to impress the world to show them who he is so he worked so hard but then they he couldn't get the goal because sometimes when you get in front of the goal he's so tired that when he shoots he has no power in it or when he shoots he has no accuracy in it he had a few shots but they kept sailing wide over, over, over the bar and he wasn't very successful with shooting. That's because one of the main reasons was because he was working so hard for the, for the team that he didn't have the energy um, or the focus to be able to um, shoot the ball on target like he is now. After he earned the right, okay, after he earned his manager's trust, after he earns his teammates' trust that yes, we can afford Cristiano Ronaldo to take his foot off um, the tracking back, to take his foot off the chasing lost courses, Let's save Cristiano Ronaldo's energy, but when Cristiano Ronaldo has the ball at his feet and he can do what he can do, okay? That's why Cristiano Ronaldo is so successful now, because he's not doing as much work as he used to do. He's earned the right to do that. So you can't, as a youngster, go on the pitch and be like, I'm gonna be like Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't run that much on the pitch when I went to watch him live. Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't do um, that much defending. He's earned the right, he's worked hard, Okay, he's earned the right, he's earned his money. He's earned the right to be able to play the way he does because of the hard work he put in earlier on in his career. Then we talk about Neymar. I went to watch Neymar play for Brazil against England at Wembley. And the same similar story. When I went home and watched the highlight of the game, it looked unbelievable. But when I was actually at the stadium, I was watching Neymar play. I was not, I was impressed because when he got the ball to his feet, it was amazing. He's done all sorts of things that I couldn't believe. But at the end of the day, the same thing. If I'm a youngster and want to play professional football, I cannot be looking at Neymar and say, I'm going to imitate exactly how he plays. And that's going to get me a contract because if it's good enough for Neymar, it's good enough for me. No, that will not happen. Neymar did not do that much running. Neymar did not put in that much effort. Even when he loses the ball, he does not. His first reaction is not to get the ball back. His first reaction is to probably blame somebody who passed the ball if the ball into him wasn't good enough or he just wasn't bothered about chasing back. As a youngster coming up, you cannot afford if the pass into you wasn't good enough and you make a mistake. Your first reaction is to try and win the ball back. That was not Neymar's first reaction. Neymar's first reaction was, I've lost the ball, okay, I'm gonna wait for the next pass. As a youngster, you cannot afford to do that. You cannot afford to go to the stadium and watch Neymar play and be like, well, when Neymar lost the ball, he didn't track back. It's not gonna work for you, okay? Your coach will look at you and probably substitute you because that's not good enough. The same thing again, Neymar has earned the right. He's put in the groundwork. He's earned the right to play the way he does. He's earned the right not to chase the ball. I'm not saying it's a good thing, it's a good look, but he's earned the right to play the way he plays, okay? Because he's Neymar. He's the most expensive player in the world. He's got that price tag and he's got the arrogance, he's got the confidence to be able to do that. His team knows that when he does get the ball in the right area, he's gonna do the right thing by winning the game for them. He's gonna do the right thing by making an assist or winning um, um, a penalty. You cannot look at Neymar and say, oh, he dives all the time. I'm gonna be doing that when I play football. No, it's not gonna happen. You're not gonna get the treatment Neymar gets. Neymar is very protected by referees. He's very protected by the league because they know he's an asset and they know what he can produce. So every time anyone goes near him and he throws himself on the floor, he's more than likely gonna get a free kick or a penalty for it. But you as a youngster um, up and coming, you cannot afford to do that because every time you do that, people will look at you and think, what are you doing? And you probably end up getting sent off or 
probably end up making more enemies than friends. There's been a lot said about Neymar's diving, but at the same time, he's Neymar. He's the most expensive player in the world. He can get away with, he can get away with it. Okay, he can do stuff like that and get away with it. But as an up and coming youngster, you cannot watch these superstars, Neymar, Messi or Ronaldo and say, they play a certain way, I'm gonna be exactly the same way. No, get your own style, work on what you're good at, okay? And do not try to imitate them. So to end this video, my word of advice is for you to stick to what you're good at. Work hard, whatever skill you, you have or whatever style of play you have, do not try to change it because you think that if it works for Messi, it's gonna work for me, if it works for Ronaldo, it's gonna work for me. No, it will not work for you. Stick to what you're good at. Everybody's individual. God has blessed you with your own talent. All God wants you to do is work hard and enhance that talent he's given you, that style of play he's given you, okay? And you will make it into the professional game. Yes, do you want to achieve the things they've achieved? Do you want to be great like they have been? But do not copy their style of play. That's messy and you're you, okay? Work hard on yourself and make it. Have the confidence and believe in your own ability so that you do not have to copy anyone else's style. Have the confidence in, in yourself and say, do you know what, my style is better than Messi's, my style is better than Cristiano Ronaldo's. Just work hard on it, because I'm sure when they were growing up, when they were watching their idols, they weren't trying to imitate them or they weren't trying to be like them. They were trying to compete against them, they were trying to prove themselves that they're better than them. And if they didn't dream big and if they didn't have belief in themselves, Ronaldo will not be um, Cristiano Ronaldo now. Messi will not be Messi now. Neymar will not be Neymar now. Okay, they had to dream big. Okay, they had to dream bigger than who their idols were. They had to dream big that they can be better than their idols. And if you don't have the confidence to tell people, or you don't have the confidence to believe in yourself that you can achieve more than Cristiano Ronaldo did, you can achieve more than Messi did, then you're wasting your time trying to be um, a professional footballer. Set yourself targets and go for it. Don't be afraid to dream big. Do not be afraid to dream big. I hope I didn't come across too harsh on your favorite player. And then there, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm not trying to diss any of them. They're absolutely brilliant players and they're where they are because of how amazing they are. I'm just trying to tell you that you can be just as good by being yourself and sticking to your own goals and having self-confidence to believe that your style of play or the way you play is good enough. You just have to work hard on it to be able to achieve similar things to what they've achieved by doing exactly what you're good at, okay? So please have self-confidence in yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Guys, I'd like to say a big thank you for watching. If you thought this video was of any value, please consider to subscribe, like, share, all the rest, okay? And I'll continue making these videos to try and help you improve um, as a footballer. So thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.